Good morning, I'm Captain Jeff Sane, and I'm a reservist on an active duty assignment helping to implement the FC-1, or Reserve Forces Readiness Command. With me today is Master Chief David McCallum, also a senior member of our implementation team. FC-1 will be responsible for ensuring the readiness of all the Reserve Forces throughout the Coast Guard. We will make sure that our forces are ready to stand up for mobilization, that, that they have the appropriate training, that they have the appropriate qualifications, and that their usual dashboard of metrics are all up to date. Things like medical, do they have a credit card, do they have a security clearance? All this will be the responsibility of FC-1 as we stand up the modernized Coast Guard. In the reserve staffs at both uh, OC and FC, there are divisions, and also one of those divisions will be OC-1 and FC-1, FC-1 being the Reserve Forces Readiness Division. And the key thing for reservists is this is a division that will be headed by a reservist. It will be sitting shoulder to shoulder with the other active duty uh, division chiefs and be there at the um, weekly division chief meetings to be able to answer any questions our vice admiral may have and to give us reserve representation when we meet with the vice admiral, something we haven't had in the reserve community since prior to 1995. Coast Guard reserve members will be active in almost every area of the Coast Guard force. We don't have reserve forces attached to aviation units and we don't have a lot of reservists attached to our uh, larger cutters. But everywhere else that you find Coast Guard active duty men and women working, you'll also find reservists. Now I'd like to turn this over to uh, Master Chief David McCallum. He's my trusted counterpart, and he's going to speak to you some more about FC-1 implementation and FC-1 in general. Well, the Reserve Force Readiness System, or the Reefers, is uh, integrated into the modernization effort. What this is going to allow the reservists to do is to have support within his own local command, specifically the sectors and districts. Within the sectors, you're going to have the RPA and the full-time support for the reservists right there. They will no longer have to go into an ISC or an outside chain of command in order to get specific issues resolved for that member. Hey, thank you very much for spending the uh, morning with us. Uh, I'd like to finish up by saying if any of you have any questions, uh, you can ask either Master Chief or myself. We're both in Global, McCallum, or Sane or you can go through your reserve network from your reserve unit uh, staff at the unit sectors and district, or you can go to askforcecom at uscg.mil.